our clients always come first. You've probably seen this around. It's certainly a popular adage, but personally, I think it's both untrue and self-destructive for any practitioner. Why do I say that? Why would I say something so horrifically alien to good client service? Well, let's have a little bit of a think about how that statement might pan out in some practical circumstances. And to be honest, you can flip it on its head. Whenever it's X always comes first, that sort of declarative statement has a tendency to have problems in execution. It sounds lovely as a sound bite, but it's rarely true, nor should it be always true in all circumstances. I'll give you an example from a different space at the moment. Family comes first. Family always comes first. Well, is that true? Let's say you got up in the morning and you're about to go to work and your youngest child burst into tears and said, Daddy or Mummy, I don't want you to go to work today. I want you to stay home and play tea parties with me. They're not sick. They're not particularly unwell. They just desire your company, which is an entirely fair thing. Are you going to stay home? Maybe yes, maybe no. Probably no. What if they did that every single day? Are you going to put your family first in those circumstances? And this is where a short sighted view comes into play because of course, family first does not always mean what you get is exactly what you wanted because it's more subtle than that. Your family also needs to be fed. In order for them to be fed, you need to go to work and you need to earn a living. But on the flip side, if you are working 22 hours a day, you're probably not putting your family first at all. You're putting yourself and your career and your clients all before those things. So there is a balancing act to be had in all of these. When it comes to clients in particular, the client first mantra is obviously important. You do need to consider your client's needs and you need to prioritize them regularly. But generally speaking, you'll have more than one client. So you need to think about how you're going to prioritize between different clients. You cannot generally put every client first because the nature of being first is that someone must be second and third and fourth. You might need to work on one matter to the exclusion of another or another matter to the exclusion of the first. Whatever the case may be, you need to think about prioritization when it comes to your clients. But the principal point I wanted to make in this section is if you pathologically put your clients first, no matter what, across the board, you're probably going to be heading down a path of personal disaster. The reason is that as a lawyer in a practice that has anywhere near enough work to do, there is always something more you could be doing. You will work and work and work and work and work. And while that might seem like what law is about, law is also a marathon, not a sprint. There you go, I'll throw another catchphrase into this one. Law is a marathon, not a sprint. And for you to be able to work for 40 or 50 or 60 years, you need to be able to do it consistently and you need to not burn out and have a mental breakdown. We have already spoken about wellness to some extent, and this is where it comes in again. If as a consequence of you putting your client first, you end up in a significant personal issue, whether it might be financial or family related or mental health related or substance abuse related, in the long run, that is not putting your clients first. What happens if you have to check into rehab because you have been putting your clients first too much and developed a mental health issue as a consequence? What happens if you have a family breakdown as a consequence of you putting your clients first? Are you seriously going to be able to diligently and properly serve your clients continuing through those massive personal issues occurring? So this is an important issue and it's one you need to think about in advance. Yes, clients are important and yes, their legal matters matter and yes, they are paying you or your firm a handsome amount of money to ensure that they are being well looked after. But in addition to you looking after them, you need to look after yourself so that you can continue to look after them. That is the reality of legal practice. So your homework for today with that in mind. How are you looking after yourself? What are the circumstances which you think you would have to put the client first? 
What are the circumstances where you want to ensure that you are claiming that piece of yourself and your own well-being going forward so that you can continue to look after your clients in the long run? Think about a few practical examples where your client might not come first. Is your client asking you to do something unethical? Then they don't come first. What they want is not always what they should get. Is your client constantly demanding you do things irrational fast? Are they ensuring that you don't get paid? Do they complain about every bill? If you have clients who are sapping the strength out of you, perhaps they ought not be your clients anymore. Think about some areas where you might not put the client first. It's useful to go through the process and I encourage you to do it.